This two-video series separates mapped surface mesh preparation from inflation layer and volume mesh creation on multiple free blocks. Volume preparation includes splitting the 3D free block into multiple free blocks, adding O-grid splits to create inflation layers, and setting edge parameters for smooth volume transition between regions. First, I want to split the large block into three smaller blocks. I must add vertices to split the edges on the far field and sim parts. Then, I split the faces by selecting vertex pairs. Note that the block face on the sim surface is annular shaped, so the first split requires the selection of four vertices. Finally, the block is split by selecting loops of edges. The result is three free blocks, which offers advantages in mesh computation time due to parallel processing, and the ability to blank blocks to focus on smaller regions. The second step is to create inflation layers on the aircraft surfaces using the O-grid split. I start by selecting all blocks. Then, all faces of the sim and far field parts are selected to suppress inflation layers. Link shape is enabled to have the inflation layer contours follow the aircraft surfaces. An examination of the pre-mesh shows the inflation layers on the body and tet mesh in the remainder of the volume. However, I need to adjust mesh size and edge parameters to bias the inflation toward the aircraft and create smoother and more uniform transitions. First, I set smaller surface mesh size on the aircraft part only. Other parts are disabled. Pre-mesh sizes are updated after the new maximum is applied. Next, I set new parameters on the radial O-grid edges. Select one edge, set 11 nodes with an initial spacing of 0.1 mm and ratio 1.5. And then copy to all parallel edges. Similarly, 15 nodes are specified for the new edges in the sim part, and initial spacing is approximately equal to the final spacing of the O grid layer. The choice of spacing 1 and ratio 1 or spacing 2 and ratio 2, depends on the edge bias direction indicated by the arrow. When copying, I check the edge bias direction and then choose reversed if appropriate. The last thing is to match the biasing at the trailing edge of the wing. Here, I simply copy the parameters without changing them. Now, when I examine the pre-mesh, I find more inflation layers and smoother transitions. A cut plane is used to examine the volume mesh, including the inflation layers around the wing surfaces. The three coefficient method allows the cut plane to align with the wing, but point selection requires surfaces to be visible. This concludes this demonstration. Be sure to save your work.